let's discuss Chinese and Western medical thought, illnesses and its causes in TCM theory. The cancer. No other life-threatening disease is as common in causality complex as cancer. Some cancers are associated with, with specific pathogens such as the human pap papillom papilloma virus for cervical cancer, the helicobacter pylorus for stomach cancer, and the hepatitis B virus for liver cirrhosis, a fatal form of liver cancer. Other cancers are associated with living habits, smoking with lung and pancreatic cancers, and still others with environmental pollutants, insecticides with nasal pharynx cancer. There is also mounting evidence that the genetic factor, as in breast cancer, emotional stress, lymphoma, and high-fat diets, prostate cancer, exert significant influence. The interpretation of statistical evidence for the impact of these varied factors on developing a malignant tumor is a treacherous enterprise, as these factors exist together with the host of others that are potentially relevant. Setting up any kind of clinical trial to identify principal causal agents for specific kinds of cancer inevitably involves value judgment from determine, determining the choice of factors to be included in the study. Such value judgment would be influenced by considerations of medical efficacy. That is by the judgment that in a given set of social and geographical environment, these causal factors that are controllable. This seems evident in the much cited epidemiological study published by nutritional scientist Colin Campbell at Cornell. Based on a 20-year epidemiological investigation of a large number of population samples in various regions of China. The study concluded that a high animal protein diet, which includes diet, dairy, product, meat, and fish, was the most important cause of many forms of cancer, as well as of cardiovascular diseases and diseases. Population samples in a poorer part of China that had very little animal protein in their diet showed low levels of certain cancers. Even when people were exposed to a higher level of carcinogens compared with those from other regions with high animal protein diets. For example, it was found that children fed on peanuts contaminated with the fungal product aflato aflatoxin associated with liver cancer showed lower incidence of liver cancer if they came from regions where little animal protein or dairy product was consumed. As peanuts are an unimportant source of protein and carbohydrates, and as the prevention of fungus molds forming on peanuts require impractical amount of refrigeration and storage facilities. The more effective alternative would be to discourage consumption of peanuts among populations with higher levels of animal protein in their diet, or to discourage the consumption of animal proteins. From this point of view, the principal cause of liver cancer in children is a diet rich in animal proteins. In using the methods of science to investigate the causes of disease, biomedical science is influenced by the values, interests of the medical researcher and political and policy makers who seek the optimal use of economic resources to achieve the objectives of health policy. The theory choice in medicine is a value-laden, as some have argued it is in science, applies equally to TCM. Chinese medicine emphasizes the building up resistance to illness, as pointed out in the aporism, Sen Chi Konei She Buk Ke Gan. <laughs> if the body is rich in healthy chi, it will not succumb to external pathogens. In TCM terms, it would make more sense to regard the presence of rhinovirus in the body as the definition of cold rather than its cause. From the viewpoint of preventing colds, it is more useful to say that the cold is caused by exposure to weather and a weakened body defense system. 
because you can do something about those, but very little about rhinoviruses in the air. Alternatively, taking the causal pile approach to emphasize the segments of the causal pile relating to climatic and lifestyle favors would be more pragmatic and value-driven. Likewise, from the TCM point, uh, viewpoint, excessive emotion and inappropriate diet and living habits are the root causes of cancer rather than unusual cell growth and the rapid multiplication of cancer cells. The latter describes the mechanism by which cancers grow and take root, but not the conditions that cause the cells to behave in this abnormal manner. From a biomedical viewpoint, the conditions that led to a higher incidence of cancer are carcinogens, genetic factors, and stress. This in turn can be related to diet, living habits, and emotions, pointing to an intersection of TCM and biomedical theories of cancer causation. Thank you for your attention.